they're saying hello. <clears throat> saying hello. You say goodbye, I say hello. This, uh, this nest might not be accessible. I cleaned out the leaves. And it looks like, uh, unless if it's down there further, but I think they're coming out of other points in the cinder block. And I just uh, did a shout out to uh, Green Wasp removal last night. Sometimes you don't know if the nest is accessible or not. All I knew was with this nest, the lady got stung. Um, she was putting away uh, some lawn chairs here, got stung, and uh, thought we weren't sure what it was. Um, she mentioned there were cinder blocks in this uh, shed area, storage area, but um, said it was all open other than that. So it could have been like an umbrella wasp or um, European hornet, like anything. Like I didn't know what I was get into and uh, this turns out to be what it was so I just uh, back him up as many as I can you got a clean right there and that's here in the future see the uh, size difference got to work on the left clean on the right just in yellow jacket very aggressive but he's a male so you got a worker Male and a queen, new queen, dying. Then 
And I'm actually not going to vacuum up the new queens because um, hopefully they'll uh, mate, hibernate, and uh, start a nest someplace else in the, uh, in the spring. Listen to me when I say that, it falls in. That was uh, completely unintentional. That's what I get for uh, talking too soon. There was another queen though that I did see fly away. Turns out the nest is accessible. There's parts of it are. It goes down in there. So. Let's have a look at those queens go. Queens can live. Even the workers are good too. Right, so uh, maybe easier for me to narrate if I turn the vacuum off. So I still got a lot of workers flying around me. It's been a suit, as you can see. Um, nest is uh, within these uh, cinder blocks. Mm -hmm goes down so I guess it's like pretty much like a straight cavity um, the nest actually didn't even start until like about down here so a lot of leaf litter and stuff so they probably started on the leaf litter um, not sure if this is another exit I don't think so I think that looks pretty well sealed but this side uh, did not have uh, concrete filler uh, so what we'll do is we'll pour a bunch of sand in here when I'm done um, that'll be a preventative maintenance uh, so they don't return. The queens. Beautiful eastern yellow jacket wasp here. It's like a tenoral, tenoral queen. Not fattened up yet. The ones that were flying away actually got fattened up. What they do is they hatch out and then they stay in the nest for about a week, uh, fed by the workers. Um, and when they get plump enough, um, get a lot of uh, carbohydrate, build up a fat reserve, and uh, leave the nest, um, find some males, can mate up to four or five times, and then they uh, hibernate um, behind siding or in a wood pile or somewhere. Um, sometimes they're uh, communal. Um, queens can hibernate in groups sometimes near the nest, but a lot of times they'll hibernate solo too. Pulling that out by hand, it's hard to get in there with gloves, but kind of what I've been doing. Yeah, you hate to kill him, but the lady got stung three times. All right, so I used a uh, vacuum attachment. I got, I think I got it all out. That's what I was able to extract. Um, either pull up with the vacuum um, or some by hand and then the rest uh, just got vacuumed. Um, the extension. I think that's pretty well solid down there so it goes down maybe like 20 inches or so get this to focus so you can see the cavity. Mm -hmm. 